The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So it seems to be pretty much impossible to get good lighting in the car right now, so we're just gonna go with it. So, I'm not gonna lie, last night I stayed up way too late. I wasn't supposed to do that anymore, but I was finishing the video that went out today, which includes a giveaway, our 60,000 subscriber giveaway. Giveaway, I can't even talk right now. Anyway, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you wanna go ahead and enter. Now I know exactly what we need for Christmas, but I'm not quite sure what else we need for the like, household items, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my list. This guy is gonna help me. Oh yes, and I also wanna show you our Christmas cards. I picked them up last night. I was having a lot of trouble with them this year. They are super late, but better late than never, I think. So let me show those to you. Usually I get my Christmas cards printed at Costco, but I was having an issue with them um, looking blurry. Um, and so I sent them to Walmart instead, and they turned out okay. I'm not 100% happy with them, but they're just gonna have to do because I don't have any more time. So here it is. We have all the kids sitting in their little elf jammies. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some addresses on these really quick and get them in the mail. Okay guys, so we just made it to Costco and it's not that crowded yet. I'm amazed. I expected a lot more people than this, but we're gonna go ahead and hurry in, get what we need, and then probably head to Walmart. So let's go. Hi! What are the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, that's no falling over. No falling over, that's important. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> You're not supposed to say <laughs> Here's something that's new. It's a little Yule Log cake. So cute. These are just like the ones they have at Disneyland. This is $14.99. That is adorable. We're back home now and here's what we got. So we ended up going to Costco, to Walmart, and to Michael's, but we just got one thing from Michael's. I'll show you that last. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things from Costco and then I'll move my way over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the non-food items first because we got quite a lot of non-food items this time. Starting back here, I picked up two sets of the Contigo Kids um, water bottles. I bought these last year and they lasted uh, quite a long time, but not forever. So we're replacing them now. We have some green and blue ones and some pink and purpley ones as well. And these are about $11 each. And then over here I have two jackets. This first one I picked up for my husband. I like that it has Darth Vader on it so he can wear it to Disneyland. And then underneath that I picked up this sort of, it's a really warm jacket shirt. And I bought this for my younger brother for Christmas. So hopefully this will be nice and warm for him. And then under that I also picked up a package of the makeup removing towelettes. I really like these. And then I also picked up this for myself. This is an Instant Pot cookbook, which I'm super excited to try because I have to tell you guys, I actually got an Instant Pot back during Amazon Prime Day and it is still in the box. I have not used it at all because I'm kind of afraid of it and I didn't know what to make. So hopefully I'll be making some of these recipes in the new year and I hope to share them with you. Moving back over here, I got a big box of navel oranges and my husband actually ate one on the way back and he said that they were really good. So I'm looking forward to those. I also picked up a box of almond milk, a box of vitamin C packets, and some go -Gurts. These are the go -Gurt Simples and they're actually on sale right now. Over here we picked up some Kerrygold butter, a big thing of broccoli, a big thing of pears, and some bananas. Over here I have a big container of mushrooms because for Christmas I'm going to be making stuffed mushrooms and I've actually never made them before. So if you have a good recipe, please leave it down below and I will check it out. For dinner tonight I picked up a rotisserie chicken, something really easy, I'm looking forward to that. We also picked up some salsa, some mayo, some sour cream, and some croissants. Back over here I have a bag of potato chips 
and tortilla chips. I got these for some appetizers that I'm serving on Christmas. And my husband picked out some eggnog. We also got some cheese slices and a pumpkin pie. I could make my own, but Costco makes really good pumpkin pies. And this big thing is only $5.99, so it was definitely worth buying. Also from Costco, I picked up a container of cinnamon sticks and four bottles of Martinelli's. I'm going to be serving this on Christmas. Now on to the things from Walmart. First up, I have a big bag of fresh cranberries. So you've seen the cranberries. I also have some whole cloves. You've seen the cinnamon sticks. And over there, I showed you the oranges. So you probably know what I'm going to make. I've watched Kimmy at She's in Her Apron make these stovetop potpourri bags several times. So I'm finally going to give them a try. I can't wait to see how they smell. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to her video in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Over here, I picked up three bottles of kombucha. We have the gingerberry, the trilogy, and the cranberry. Each of these are really good, but my favorite is the trilogy. I also got a package of gluten-free breadcrumbs. Those are gonna go into my stuffed mushrooms. And then for the kids that don't like Martinelli's, I just picked up some 7-Up. Next to that, I picked up two of these water pitchers. I was needing these for Christmas dinner. It didn't have anything like this, so I was happy to find these little square ones. These were less than $5 each, and I really like that they're square, so they can fit really nicely in the fridge. So yes, those are for water. Picked up two of those. I'm gonna have two different tables for Christmas dinner, so one for each table. Moving over here, I picked up some turkey pepperoni and some sausage. The sausage is going into my stuffed mushrooms, hopefully. I also picked up two salad kits. This one is the Southwest Chopped Salad, and this has cabbage and carrots and sort of a chipotle ranch dressing. And then this one is the Sunflower Bacon Crunch. And this one also has romaine and cabbage, but this one also has little bacon bits and a sweet onion dressing, so that sounds really good. Now over here I picked up some toothpaste for the kids, some Parmesan cheese also for my stuffed mushrooms. I got a box of the gluten-free pasta for an easy dinner this week. And then I got this huge box of Rice Krispies. Now it's kind of a family tradition to make Rice Krispie treats at Christmas time. This was something started by my grandma. Her name was Rosalie. And so I'm keeping that tradition alive. I'm making the Rice Krispie treats this year. And I made them last year too. And I have a video on how I make them. I make them a little bit different, so I'll go ahead and link that down below if you wanna check them out. I think they are super good. And the key is to brown the butter first. It has a lot of flavor, it's really good. Now back over here, I picked up a brand new hand towel for my guest bathroom for when the family comes over for Christmas. I think it's always nice to put out a nice, fresh, clean towel, not a toothpaste stained one that my kids have been using. Under that, I have a pack of plates. These are going to be for the kids to use at the kids' table on Christmas. I have real like glass plates for the adults, but I wanted to go with paper for the kids. Now hiding over here, I almost forgot to show you, I have a thing of whipped cream, that's to go on the pumpkin pie, and I have a little thing of Nutella, and that's to go on some of the croissants. Then I also picked up two bags of marshmallows for my Rice Krispie treats, and they were pretty much sold out of the regular kind of marshmallows. I ended up getting these, which I don't normally buy, but I think they'll be just fine. And under those, I have a big box of firewood because we're gonna hopefully build a fire in our fireplace. One of the things that we wanna do as a family is create a Yule log video. Have you guys ever seen the Yule log? It's basically a fireplace with a fire going and you hear Christmas music. And it's just something that you can play in your house and listen to as you're wrapping presents or cooking. And um, you can find them on YouTube and other places and we're hoping to make our own video with music and stuff. So cross your fingers, we haven't made a fire in this house, in the fireplace for years, like literally years. So hopefully it'll go okay. 
Now I think we're on to the very last thing. I actually picked this up at Michael's. There's a Michael's right next to our Walmart, so it was really easy to pop into there. This is a cardboard gingerbread house that the kids can actually go inside and they can color the outside. And hopefully this will keep the kids busy um, during Christmas dinner and so they won't be fighting and running around crazy. So this was only $10, it was a special door buster today. I always like to have activities for the kids to do when they come over for a party because it's like six kids that are 10 and under. So gotta give them things to keep them busy. Okay guys, so that's pretty much everything we needed for Christmas this year. I'm getting off pretty easy. I am hosting, but I'm not making all the food. I'm in charge of the pumpkin pie, which I have. I'm making some appetizers. I'm bringing drinks, and that's pretty much it. The rest of the family, they're going to bring stuff as well, so nice and easy. Now let me know in the comments down below what are you making for Christmas dinner. If you're making any of these things, or if you're making something completely different, let me know what you're making. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.